All right, howdy everybody, we are live. Welcome, welcome to Step Into the Portal. My name is The Brant. We're gonna play some My Hero Academia card game today. This has been all the rage at our store. In fact, if you just go to the last stream, we did a three hour stream from our store, The Portal in Manchester, Connecticut. We do these live streams. It's Larry, Brian, and myself, and we rotate through so that we're not all on camera at the same time. So you can see a whole bunch of games played there with our giant All Might standy in the back. Um, but today's not about that. Today is about getting a chance to play with Andrew from Go Beyond Gaming. So hello, Andrew. How are you? I'm doing well. How are you, man? I'm really good. I love getting to play this game. <laughs> me too. Me too. I'm talking about that standy. I have it behind me. I took I took oh, our yeah. stores. Yeah, That's you right. can't see him, but he's behind me. So. Yeah, we yeah, have that I, same thing with the shine going on, too. It's like he's, he's, yeah. not, he's very bright and shiny. Very bright. He's very <laughs> tall. He's like seven feet tall. It's crazy. Well, I keep everybody's wealthiest superhero behind me, Rocket Raccoon, because he's gotcha. my favorite Marvel superhero. So, That's cool, uh, in yeah. fact, I think I have my bobblehead that my daughter got or whatever this thing would be, the McDonald's toy. <laughs> yeah, that's really cool. Yeah, I have I um, love Rocket Raccoon, so I'm collecting as much as I can. I have all the 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 my hero statues behind me. They they oh, go yeah. from floor to ceiling. I have Funko Pops over here, and then on the other side of me, I have all my um my X Men stuff. I have like all the Rogan Gambit. I'm a big Rogan Gambit fan, so I have all nice. my Rogan Gambit stuff over on the other wall. And uh, I've got the the Rogue tattoo. Whenever we show the cards, you'll see it more clearly. But I've got all all kinds of X Men related stuff in the room as well to go with my my hero stuff. So. Awesome. Yeah. Well, you're all in on the My Hero. I, I'm in season three. I have been watching the show. Yeah. Uh, but I haven't I haven't watched it as, as many people have. But the card game got me to watch the show. So it's done well. Done well there. So, Andrew, why don't you tell people about your channel, about you, whatever you want to let cool, people yeah. know where they so, can find you? <laughs> uh, I do mostly YouTube. I've done a little bit of Twitch, but it's Go Beyond Gaming over on YouTube. The goal for my channel was to present content in a way that from like a competitive mindset, but for people who are either jumping into the game or want things explained more thoroughly rather than just like, this card is good because it's obviously good kind of thing. I felt like there was something missing in the content creation realm for my hero where it was like, I want to be competitive, but I don't know what everything in the game does. I don't know all, of, all the slang and all the short term and all of the, um, uh, I guess like uh, vernacular of the game. I don't, I don't know why a card is good. Uh, I would, and I felt like that was something missing. So I kind of focus on that and I do all the tournament reports. I kind of go out of my way to find all the top 16s of all the big events. Um, I travel to all the events. I've done well at a couple of them. Uh, uh, but that, that's kind of the, the focus of my channel was to kind of bring the competitive content in a way that somebody who's picking up the game for the first time could digest, could digest it. Because if you said you do, you do uh, champions, I imagine if I went to just a random channel, I would be lost. You know what I mean? Yeah. If I just picked a random champions channel, I would be completely lost. And I wanted to have a channel that kind of met the middle ground of competitive players and players jumping in for the first time. Nice. Yeah. I mean, so our channel being a store, that's definitely what we do. So again, if people go back, they will see a primer where we played the like demo decks against each other while I explained the rules. So we actually had three of us. Mm -hmm. So one person could be explaining the rules while the other two people are playing. So people could have some place they could go. Of course, your local stores are going to be great for that, you know, when they have nights or whatever, or online events with Jasco would be another great place. And then as you're kind of stepping from that beginner to intermediate, I, 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 even that beginner level, it sounds like something like your channel is a great to hear about, like, what are the top decks? What are people playing? Mm -hmm. What are some of the ideas? Think about, I saw your video on sideboarding. I thought that was really helpful because I have no set of that. We're always playing one-offs mm -hmm. at the store, you know, uh, so it's been a little bit interesting to do all that. Hello, yeah, I want Oscar. Thanks for joining us. Sorry, I was just talking to the chat. Oh, you're good. Yeah, I see you there. Um, I wanted to just like, uh, I did a video when set two came out after the after this dust had settled, because I do understand not everyone is is as invested as me or doesn't have the means to do what I do, which is travel to every event or buy cases of product or whatever. So I did like a video that was like, hey, these are five rares that are worth like 50 cents that you should just go buy a place out of. If, if, if $2 won't break the bank, you should go grab these. I think I think doing that kind of stuff was really missing. And that's what I wanted to do. So stuff like sideboarding, um, hey, these are five 25 cent cards you should go buy because they're going to see competitive play. They're not going to be 25 cents much longer kind of thing. So that's um, a great idea. I love yeah. that idea for a video. <laughs> yeah. So that, that's what I did for set two. I plan to do it for every set. Um, maybe okay. do more than five cards, maybe do like 10 or 15 cards because I only did five for this one. And, and outside of one of the cards I picked, all four of the five have been very relevant and are a dollar to $2 a piece now, where if you like 
And that, and for some people that is too much spending $10 on a place out of rares can be too much, but spending a dollar isn't going to be the end of the world kind of thing. So um, I wanted to do that so that people could like grab these cards before they like shot up and, and got out of hand. Like it was too expensive to, to grab a place out of rares, you know, cause everyone plays card games at a different level. Right. And it, it's important yeah. to accommodate everyone at every level, in my opinion. Nice. So awesome. Well, yeah, I mean, I'm, I'm just happy to keep learning the game. I mean, I've been playing like, heavily since may maybe late april um we definitely played when set one came out so what happened is the guys from our store went to gamma 2020 the like famed final event before shutdown Mm -hmm. or you know everything shut down as they were at gamma came back with universes and we played like street fighter mortal Kombat. you know and it was interesting to me but then there was a delay to my hero set one so i probably played like 10 games of set one and then when set two came out for whatever reason we just picked up and i I have played steadily since May and I, you know, I, people who are now jumping in and I'm like, I've really only been playing two and a half months and I've learned a lot. So Mm -hmm. I feel like I've moved up to that intermediate level and, you know, then we'll go to Gen Con and get a chance to to play in tournaments and stuff. And I feel like that could push me kind of into that next tier, you know, Uh, I think Gen Con is going to be awesome. So it's going to be really fun. So I could chat all day, but we should play a game. Yeah, we should play a game. I'll move my (laughs) camera down real quick. (laughs) One thing I do well is talk. All right, what are you playing there? I am playing, I'm trying to get it where it's, can you see everything? I can, yes. All right, I am playing Snipe. He's one of the plus ultra pack characters. I'm playing him on the death symbol. He's a seven hand size, 20 health character. Uh, His response is when your combat phase begins. So after you draw to your hand size, I can ready any one foundation on my side of the board. And then he has two enhances on my attack. I can discard the top card of your deck. And if it's an attack, you'll lose two health. And then the second enhance is if my range attacks are completely blocked, you lose one health. So the idea is that I'm playing a range deck uh, that is trying to do like incremental burn to uh, on top of just my normal attacks. Nice. And I'm playing a racer head. He is the no, no character, right? Like, yeah. nope, you can't do that. Nope. You can't do that. Uh, but I really enjoy playing him. I love his style. And I have a little bit of an offensive build here. Uh, I play him on void and uh, I don't, I mean, I definitely defend cause that's his thing, but I like to try to, to put in some damage. You have 19 health, right? I have 19 health. Yeah. All I know right. it's a little hard to see, but I've got this. Um, I'm using this counter right here. For yeah. I'm going to pull it up on my phone so we can, so I can keep track of my own. I don't have my, I usually use pen and paper, but I don't have any by me. So uh... not nah, a worry. All right. Do you want any specific cut before I, when I finish shuffling? No, no, I'm good. This All is right. super All casual right. in my just mind. Just want to make sure. Just want to make sure. Yeah, no problem. Uh, odds and e- odds or evens or high roll. I have D6s. I have these big giant dice. I bought D6s from the store that I could use. So let's awesome. roll them up. I roll. I rolled a four. I an eight. I will go first. Awesome. Yeah, so I've got reds for high attack speed, oranges for mid attacks, and yellows for low attacks, and then blue dice for damage. Okay, cool. I so don't have all that. Show up in <laughs> some way. Not a problem. I've just been trying to assemble something so I could play uh, on Zoom more and have it be useful to people. <laughs> totally fair. I am going to uh, mulligan one card since I'm going second. Um. I'll keep. Cool. All right, ready? Yep, let's go ahead. Uh, and a race goes in my deck to start. Yep. All right, I'm going to check a Night Watch. It's a two on a five. I'm going to check a Heroic Lineage on a three. It's a three. I'm going to check a Calling for Backup on a three. It's a five. And I'm going to try to check a Resistance for a four on a five. And I will pass turn. Awesome. I will skip review step. I'll draw my extra card for going second. Um, I'm going to play League Interview on a two. I'm going to play Forcing Surrender on a two. It checks a five. I'm going to play Surviving the Final on a two. It checks a five. And I'm going to play... uh, Let's play another Surviving the Final on a three. And then we will also play a Tight Lipped on a four. It checks a three. I'll commit my character and I'll be done. Nice. Uh, and so for people watching, we've had a couple people bouncing in and out. There's not a ton of people live because we're just getting My Hero Academia going on the channel. But if you have any questions, feel free to ask. 
If you watch it back afterward, thank you so much for watching and feel free to ask any questions that you have of us and I will respond to them in a timely manner. All right, I'm gonna review my hardened frenzy and draw five. And I will ready eraser head. Is there a time, am I supposed to ready before I draw? Does it matter? Is it all part of the um, same set? It doesn't you feel have like a big deal to me. Typically you ready everything first. It's not the end of the world, however. Yeah, yeah you, no one's gonna be like, oh, you didn't ready that, so. Yeah, I figured, but just trying to get some of those little rules down. All right, I'm gonna come at you with a Tetsu Tetsu Fist. Checks on a five, it's a four, and I will commit my Night Watch. Uh, then my first enhance is gonna be to discard a card. So I'm gonna discard this Hardened Frenzy to get an Erase back into my hand and I'm going to give it plus two speed. Cool. I am going to use surviving the finals once per turn effect to give it minus one speed. And I'm going to use its effect. If you've discarded a card this turn, give it plus two speed. So it's now a seven speed. I'm doing plus three, but I can just tell you what the speed is. I know it's hard to see. It's all good. I can see it pretty well. I'm going to use my second copy of surviving the final to give it minus one speed again. Back to six. All right. Um, the reason I'm turning these upside down for anyone watching is just to notate that I've used the effect because these are once per turn. So if anyone's rewatching this or watching it now, that's why I'm turning my cards upside down just so I know I've used them. Yep, makes sense to me. That's what we've been doing too. So that's a good way of marking it. Um, all right, that's it. I'm going to send it. Or I'm going to pass. Sorry, it's back to you. Uh, I'm going to pass as well. So it's a six speed attack. Six speed for five damage. And it's a mid, right? It is a mid. I'm going to block on a seven. It checks a five. I'll commit these to six, seven for a full block. All right. Well, that was so nice. Let's do it twice. <laughs> on a six. Ooh, it's a three. Yikes. All right. Well, we'll go for it here. Uh, my first one will be to discard my erase, bring it back, give it plus two speed. Um, I am thinking, let's see. It's going to be very fast. I'm going to pass. All right. And then I will use its enhanced to give it plus two more speed. So it's an eight speed. I will pass. And I will also pass. So it's an eight speed mid for five damage to you. That is much too fast to block. I will go 15. <laughs> and I'm just going to tilt it that way to know that I it hit. Okay. All right. Then I will play a manly passionate guy checks on a three and it's a three. And I'm going to try to play a tape on a four checks a five. Cool. And I am holding three cards in my hand. All right. Passing I'm going to turn to you. I'm going to ready up. I am going to skip review and just draw five cards. Five. Six, seven. Uh, I am going to play float combo on a five. It checks a three. I will commit these two here for five. Um, do you have any responses on play for float combo? Nope. All right. Uh, my first enhance is going to be float combos enhance that if this attack is completely blocked, it'll still deal one damage. Got it. Uh, I will discard an erase, bring it back to my hand and give it minus two speed. Awesome. I'm going to put the dice over on the left-hand side just as a way to notate the speed went down. No problem. Um, I'm going to use my my snipe enhance. You're going to discard the top card of your deck. If it's an attack card, you'll lose two. It's a night watch. Cool. It's your enhance. Uh, what zone is that? It's a high. It's Right now it's a four high for four. All right. I will change it to mid. I will use uh, Snipe second enhance that if my ranged attack is completely blocked, you'll you'll lose one health. Got it. Um, it is your enhance. Um, I've got nothing. I pass. All right. So this is a four high for four that if it's blocked, you'll take two. All right. And it's a mid, so I'm going to block it's a mid, it with mid, mid. a race. It's not a problem. So it's a one. Uh, so I need a five. Check a four. Plus one is five. And it's breaker one. Cool. And then you'll lose two for blocking, uh, one from float combo and one from my character. Down to 17. I will then play 
expert flurry on a five. It checks a six. Uh, do you have any responses on play? Nope. I will use the combo enhance to discard one rival momentum. Got it. Uh, I will discard my hardened frenzy. Apparently, I don't like these. I keep <laughs> discarding them. And take an erase back into my hand and give it minus two speed. Um, I'll use the snipe enhance to have you discard the top card of your deck. And if it's an attack, you'll burn for two. It is. I am down to 15. Is that a once per turn? Is that what that is? It is. No, it's a, It's a only on my attacks. Only on your attacks. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. I can't do it on your attacks. I can only, it's, it's basically any attack I play. I can uh, mill the top card, discard the top card of your deck to potentially burn you for two. Makes sense. Uh, it's your enhance. Uh, I've got nothing, so it's you. Uh, sorry, you gave this minus two speed. Uh, I will use the snipe enhance of if this is completely blocked, you'll lose one health. Okay. Pass. And I will also pass. It's a two high for four. Two high for four, man. All right. Uh, I will play my erase, which will check on a six. Or it'll be on a four. Oh, it's a two. I'm sorry. Yeah, you, I you gave it minus four two. Four plus yeah. two. Yeah yeah, 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 yeah. Got it. Thank you. Uh, and it's a five. So it checks and it's breaker one, but I take half. Yep. So you go to 13. And do I take one? Yours is if it's completely blocked. I only think if it it's, yeah, only if it's completely blocked. Makes sense. Awesome. I will go ahead and play this struggling with studies on a three with minus one to my check. It checks a two. Um, we'll go with three to pay for that. And then I'll play this surviving the final on a three. It checks a three. Uh, that'll be my turn. I'm going to build these down. Uh, these both dealt damage to you. So I'm going to put both of them into my momentum. All right. I have three in hand. My race is going. What is a uh, hand size and health of snipe? Uh, seven and 20. Got it. I am at 15 right now. Uh, once you draw to your hand size, let me know. I have an effect during the start of your combat phase. I am at my hand size. Cool. I will use the response on snipe to ready one card in my uh, one foundation. I'm going to ready this surviving the final. Makes sense. All right. I will open with a recipro extend on a four checks a five. And my first enhance will be to give my next kick attack plus two plus two. Okay. Um, my enhance is going to be uh, to play evil gaze. I'll lose two health and go to 13. I'll check this on a zero. I'm going to give this minus two speed. And then if it's blocked, I will destroy something of yours and I will remove this from the game. And I'm down right. to 13. I will use my uh, eraser head ability, discard late riser and get an erase back. So that'll end up giving it a plus three speed, one for late riser yep. and two for my ability. So it is now plus one at a five speed. Cool. I will use one copy of my surviving the final to give it minus one speed. Back to four. Yeah. This is fun speed change. <laughs> <laughs> I will use my second enhance to draw a card. Uh, I'll use a second copy of Surviving the Final to give it minus one speed. Love it. Uh, I will pass. Uh, I will pass as well. So it's a three speed. I'm going to block this on a three, four, five. It checks a five. Um, the first thing that will happen when I block is I'm going to destroy the heroic lineage. Got it. And then I will also declare Breaker 2 as my response on block. Nice. What is the one you blocked with, or is that... Uh, naval Laser Beam. Got it. Is that his rare? That is ultra rare? Aoyama's Ultra Rare, yeah. Got it. Yeah, that's one that I haven't gotten from set one yet. Yeah, it's one of the cooler cards in set one. It's, a, it's gotten kind of pricey just because of how good it's doing competitively. Um, sure. But I think you can get unlimited copies for a pretty reasonable price, as long as you don't have that first edition itch. Yeah, yeah. No, I, I do not. <laughs> I'm I, I like playing the game. I don't have a problem that people enjoy mm -hmm. it by any means. Yep. Uh, but I'm happy to play the game. All right, four plus one is five. Checks a five. 
Oh, sorry, it's breaker two. Yeah, so it checks a three. So it checks a three, and I need a five, so four. Uh, I'll do... I don't know what I'll do. Uh, I'll do my resistance. Okay. Uh, so it checks, and it gets plus two speed, plus two damage. Uh, my first enhance will be to give my next kick attack plus two speed, plus two damage. I am going to pass. I'm going to draw a card. I will pass. And I will discard my erase to give it plus two speed, bring it back to my hand. It is very fast. I will pass. <laughs> uh, I pass as well. So that is an eight speed for six. I will take my six. I'll go down to seven. All right, I will play, I'm gonna attempt this, I think. Am I? <laughs> Am I playing with fire here? Nope, I'm good. I'm gonna try a hardened jab on a six, flip a five, and I will use my night watch to go to six. Okay. Um, and my first enhance is gonna be to draw a card with calling for backup. Uh, my enhance is going to be to flip struggling with studies. Um, if this is my rival's third or greater attack this combat phase, I add one card from my card pool back into my hand. Nice. All right. I am going to use the hardened jab to add a face down foundation to my hand and then build a foundation. I'm going to go ahead and use my surviving the final to give this minus one speed, my last copy of it. You got it. And I'm going to follow it up with an erase to put it back in my hand, give it plus two. So it ends up at plus one at a four. Yeah. Um, I will pass in hands from there. I will do the same. All right. So it so is a, a four mid for five damage. Uh, we'll go to block on a six. It checks a five, a six, and then breaker two on block. Ooh. That breaker's rough. <laughs> All right, uh, so because of the breaker, I will play a gotcha, which will be on a five, or I guess it actually lowers this check, right? Yeah, it's on a three with minus so, to whatever you check. On a three, minus two to a five is a three, so I'm good. Mm -hmm. Got past that breaker. Um, and then I will try to play my tape on a five, and it is a five. So I will build these two. These two are blocked, and I've got one in my momentum. Awesome. I'm going to go ahead and ready up my board. I dropped And I am holding a bunch. six cards. <laughs> Everything you played drew you a card, sort of. Yeah, I would have liked to build more, but I didn't want to run it. Yeah. Oh, sorry, I dropped my face down on the floor. There we go. All right. I will uh, not review. I'll just draw six. Two, three, four, five, six, seven. Hmm. I am going to activate the first form effect on League Interview. I'm going to discard the top two cards in my deck, and my next check to play an attack this turn will get plus one. Sorry, quick question. You have me at 12 health and you at seven? Yep. Okay. I was at 13, and I don't disagree. I just wanted to make sure I wasn't at seven. You are actually at 13, and I think I bumped it. Um, oh, okay. Because you took, you took two for half blocking. You took two for... Um, uh, yeah, no, it's not a problem. Yeah, yeah. I'm pretty sure. I wanted sure. to make sure I wasn't at seven. The 13, 12. No, I'm at, yeah, deal. seven is me. Seven is me. <laughs> uh, I'm going to play Nitro Explosion Ignition on a four with plus one to the check. So it checks a six. Do you have any responses on play? No. All right. Uh, my first enhance is going to be Snipe. I'm going to have you discard the top card of your deck. And if it's an attack, you'll burn for two. Late riser, so no. All right. It's your enhance. Does that decrease after this card is discarded? Okay. Oh, wait. Does that count? Does it say... From specific? your hand. Yeah. yeah. Never mind. I should have kept reading. <laughs> <laughs> uh, what, is the, what is the location? Is that a high? It's a high. It's Right now, it's a five high for four. Okay. Um, I will... I will make it a mid. Okay. Flip my uh, tape. I will use Snipe. If it's completely blocked, you'll lose one health. 
Got it. And I will discard a race and put it back in my hand to give it minus two speed. Yeah. Um, I will pass enhance. All right. So does a three mid, is that correct? Three mid for four damage right now. All right. I will also pass and block with a fusion, which is a two mid. So I need a five. Check a five. I tell you, the last two days I've been checking so well. <laughs> it's going to go away in two weeks at Gen Con. <laughs> Uh, All right, then I will respond with my manly, passionate guy and build my fusion into my thing. Okay. Uh, and then when you block, because it was completely blocked, you'll lose one because of snipe. Down to 12. Um, hmm, let's go ahead and play another nitro explosion ignition, this time on a five. It checks a five. Do you have any responses on play? Nope. I will use Snipe. I'll have you discard the top card of your deck, and if it is a uh, attack, you'll burn for two. It's not. Yep. Only once so far. Only once. Uh, it's your enhance. Okay. Uh, I will discard my erase to give it minus two speed and pull it back. Yep. I will use Snipe and say if this is completely blocked, uh, you will lose one health. Got it. Uh, I will give it minus two speed with my fusion. It's very slow. I will use... Um, so Nitro Explosion Ignition has a card pool in hand, which means that I can use it from my card pool on previous copies. I'm going to yeah. use the first Nitro Explosion Ignition. I'm going to remove it from the game and give this attack powerful too. Got it. Uh, I will pass. I will... Uh, one, two, three. I will also pass. It is a one high for four. All right. I will block it with a reciprocal burst, which is a two high. So I need a three. Check a five. And then you'll lose one for full blocking it. Got it. I have you down to 11. Yep. I'll play super regeneration on a three. I will play... Spooky on a four, checks a three, four, and I will pass from there. So I will build these two down. Uh, this didn't actually deal damage. You just lost health from it, so it will not go to my momentum. I guess this is the defensive battle everyone came for. <laughs> and then at the start of your combat phase, I'll just go ahead and ready the face down that I had committed whenever you draw to your hand. So it's just a shortcut a little bit. Yep, I reviewed a fusion. Okay. All right. Let's see here. How many cards are you holding in hand? I have three cards in hand right now. Okay. So let's start with a Hardened Frenzy on a four. Checks a three. And I'll commit one to make it four. And my first enhance will be if it's completely blocked, then I build it face down after it resolves. I am going to pass enhance to you. OK. I will discard. Um. I'm going to discard a gotcha to go get an erase and give it plus two speed. I Six am going speed high. to, uh, I'm going to pass enhance to you. All right. Uh, I have not built a card, so that's not happening. So I will pass. I'm going to take four to go to three. And then when I take damage, I'm going to respond with super regeneration to gain three. So I'll go back up to six. Got it. All right, I will play a Shrapnel Cloud Release. Uh, so I need a, a six, check a five, plus one is six, and it is a flash with the response, after this attack is blocked, your rival commits one foundation. So it's a two high for seven. 
I've got to block that one. So I'll block it on a four and it checks a five. And then I choose to what to commit. So I'll commit one of these face downs when I block it. All right. I will then play a tape on a three, checks a five. And I will two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Um, <laughs> I will hold there. So oh this one God. gets discarded. This one goes to my momentum and I build the tape. I've got nine foundations, seven are up and I've got four cards in hand. Going to be tough to deal damage to a racer head here. I'm going to review a card <laughs> and I'm going to draw six. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. I have a decision. Well, I haven't been able to lay on the offense as much, although I've got two in momentum, so I'm not complaining there. Hmm. I will play float combo on a five. It checks a three. I will commit these two here for four and five. Do you have any responses on play? Nope. Okay. I am going to use its enhanced that if it is completely blocked, it will deal one damage. Got it. Um, I it's will... a six high for four. Right Got now. it. Six high for four. All right, I will discard a late riser to get an erase back and bring it down, I think, four speed, right? Yeah, it's very slow now. Um, I'll use my snipe enhance to have you discard the top card of your deck. If it's an attack, you'll burn for two. It is I'm down to nine. All right. I will flip my tape to make your float combo a mid. Okay. I'll use Snipe's Enhance of if this attack is completely blocked, you'll lose one health. Yeah. And I will commit my release to make your next attack minus two damage. All right. Um, I'm going to pass from there. It is a two. Is that correct? Yep. It's a two high for four that if it's completely blocked, you'll take one damage and lose one health. Perfect. Okay. I'm going to block with an erase because I changed it to a mid. Mid. Yep. Mid. So it checks on a three and I go beyond with a three. So it checks. I take one and one. Yep. I'm down to seven. Breaker one to you. All right. I will. Hmm. I'm going to play this super regeneration on a three. It checks a five. I'm going to play learning the standards on a four it checks a six i'm sorry the super generation checked a four but it's still cleared because of breaker i uh, get that right there and then i play graceful maneuvers on a five it checks a six i will build down i am in deadlock if you have deadlock enhances all right sounds good i have three cards in hand i will ready and I will review this gotcha and draw. And that puts me through my deck. I'm at five <laughs> cards. Uh, the shortcut a little bit when your combat phase begins, I'm going to ready one of the two committed face downs I have because of Snipe's response. Yeah, for sure. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. 10. So I've always been interested. Am I allowed to know what they are? Or are they, yeah, face they down? go face up. They go face okay. up. Both players get to know. Uh, there is an erase in there and a handful of attacks. Okay. <laughs> I'm going to set them off camera if that's okay. That's totally fine. If you need to know, I am more than I, happy to tell you. It'll be fine. <laughs> I appreciate <laughs> I you letting me. Yeah, I yeah. know. All right. Let's open with a recipro extend on a four. Checks a five. What a day. All right. Uh, my next kick gets plus two, plus two. I am going to... Uh, Pass. Okay. I will. Um, ooh, actually, that's tricky. How do I do that? I don't have any erases anymore. 
Um, all right, well, I have one in hand, so I guess I can discard it to put it back and give this yep. plus two speed. I am going to pass enhance. All right, I'm going to draw a card for my second enhance. I am going to pass enhance. That is it for me. It's a six mid for four damage. All right. I have, I'm not going to block. I'm going to go down to two, but I have a couple responses when I take damage. I'm going to flip a super regeneration to gain three and go back to five. And then mm -hmm. I'm going to remove learning the standards from the game. After I take damage from an unblocked attack, you must play a non-attack card or end your turn. Got it. All right. I will then play a late riser as my next card. Uh, so I hit you for four and you went up three, right? Oh, I mm -hmm. see the five there. Yep, we're good. Yeah, I, I went down to two and I went back up to five. Got it, got it. Just trying to remember where I was at. And I realized it's on your screen, but I was looking down. <laughs> yeah, you're good, you're good. All right, late riser on a two, checks on a three. I will play a reciprocal burst. Five on a seven. It's a five, six, seven. Gets plus two speed, plus two damage. Uh, after you commit one or more foundations, uh, it gets plus one speed. Okay is my response. And my first enhance is going to be to give it plus two speed with my fusion. All right. Uh, I'm going to use- right, is a low, I'm switching to yellow. You're good. I'm going to use my first copy of Surviving the Final for minus one speed. All right. That'll make it three. I will discard an erase and put it back to give it plus two speed. I'm going to use another surviving the final for minus one speed. We're going to go back and forth for a bit here. <laughs> yep. I will EX three. I'll do one more copy. So we're at seven. It should be at six speed plus six speed right now. Yep. That's exactly it. And then I will spend a momentum uh, to trigger its enhanced discard a momentum. It gets plus X damage where X is equal to the tack. Sorry, the speed minus three. So it's going to get plus six damage. So it is coming All in right. at nine speed and uh, 13 damage. Uh, my enhance is going to be, I'm going to flip this Forcing Surrender, and I'm going to discard the Late Riser from your card pool. So it's going to go to your discard, even though you played it. <laughs> I'm very rude, apparently, today. <laughs> um, uh, it's your enhance. Okay. Uh, do you have any other, you have the, okay, I know what I'm going to do. You have a spooky there, correct? I do have a spooky, and I have a graceful maneuvers, which can give minus two speed. All right. I'm going to play a race for its enhance. On a four, checks a five, and I'm going to seal your spooky. Awesome. I um, guess that didn't matter because I would have made it speed high, but I still feel good about it. Yeah. Nine <laughs> speed. So committing this is basically only giving you minus one speed because you're going to get a speed when I commit it. But is that worth it? Um, I am going to pass enhance. I'm not going to enhance any further. So it's your enhance. Uh, I pass as well. So I'm sending a nine low for 13. All right. I'm going to try and block this on an 11. It checks a five. I'm going to respond when I check the card by flipping my league interview. It's going to make this into a six check. So I need to commit five cards to pay for it. And I will do one, two, three, four. And I guess I'll do this sealed spooky. So I will completely block it. All right. Okay. I will play a tape on a three, checks, and I will hold three cards in hand. All right, I will. Uh, this Recipro Extend hit you, right? It hit it and then did you did Super me. Regeneration. Yeah. Couldn't get you with that one. I couldn't get the speed high enough. All right, I am going to clean up my card pool. I'm going to review this card here, and I will draw six. Hopefully, we draw orange cards. That's what we're trying to do, Deck. I believe in you. All right, I have a couple orange cards. I'm going to play Expert Flurry on a four. It checks a five. Do you have any responses on play? Nope. Uh, I'm going to use snipe to have you discard the top card of your deck. And if it's an attack, you'll burn for two. 
I do. I'm down to five. Uh, it's your enhance. I will make your next attack minus two damage. All right. I'm going to use expert flurries enhance to say my next attack will get plus two damage to kind of offset that. All right, I will discard my erase to put it back in my hand to give it minus two speed. Um, I'll use snipe and say if it's completely blocked, I will, uh, you'll lose one health. Uh, it's a high, correct? It is a two high for four right now. I will make it a mid. It is a mid. I will pass enhance from there. I will pass as well, and I'll block it with a fusion. So it's two plus two is four. I check a three, plus one is four. It's completely blocked. All right. And I take one damage. You burn for one. I'm going to play Expert Flurry on a five. It checks a five. Uh, it comes in with plus two and minus two damage, so it just comes in at its printed stats. Um, do you have any responses on play? Yep. I'm going to play Erase on a three. And I'm going to not let you use your abilities. All right. I, uh, for enhances, am going to use the combo enhance of discarding one rival momentum. Got it. Uh, I will discard my late riser to get my erase back and give it minus four speed. Very slow. Huh. I'm gonna fall. I'm gonna fall short. So you have a mid block for my high attack. It's getting blocked. I am going to. As a very good erase, you stop my character from working. <laughs> hmm. Well, I realized if I took the two from this and then half blocked, I was dead. Yeah, I will. Huh. Going to. I guess I will use tight lip to flip. I'm going to flip the tight lip to give it plus one damage. So it's going to be a, a five damage move right now. <laughs> nice. I pass. It's a zero speed high attack for five damage. All right. Well, I block it on a two partial. And it's a three. So it's partial block breaker one. I take three because it's rounded up. I am at one. So if you yeah. have an attack. I do not actually. Funnily <laughs> enough. What again? I'm going to play this super regeneration on a four. It checks a four because of breaker. I'm going to build it down and I'm just going to not take this momentum and I'm going to pass to you. So I'm just going to take a brief pause because we have eight people watching. So hello, everybody. Feel free to say hi in the chat. I know sometimes people can't. They're working or doing other things. But thanks so much for watching. This is Andrew from Go Beyond Gaming joining me playing My Hero Academia. And this is a match. I mean, this is so fun. <laughs> yeah, we're having a, I'm having a really good time. This has been very back and forth. Win or lose, I don't care at this point. This has been exciting to, yeah. to play. So thank you for joining me. Yeah, no problem. I'm having a good time too, so. Nice. I have a good time pretty much every time I play this game, though. So I can't really. Uh, this has been a very fun game in particular, though. Yeah, I don't know. I mean, I wasn't erasing that whole time and I was just letting you get damage. But then when you got close to killing me, I figured that was the time to use its response. Yeah, I think the only the only thing I might have done differently there is your character can um, draw to when you block or play an action. Oh, right. Yeah. Yeah. That's the only thing there. But it didn't. I didn't have another attack, so it ended up not mattering. It's a good call. All right, I will review none because I had nothing left in my hand and I will draw one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. I have four in hand, so. All right. Here we go. Snipe says KS Natri. Thank you for joining us. I watch your channel as well. Hey, Phil. <laughs> yeah, I knew that. I wasn't sure. Uh, so uh, I'm going to play Tetsu Tetsu Fist. Checks on a five. It's a three. Four, five. I will discard. Uh, hold on. I don't think I have an erase left. One, two. Sorry. Okay. Oh, there is one there because I just discarded it. One, two. Nope, sorry. I'm playing small and limber to get my erase back and give it plus two speed. So it is a six speed. Awesome. Uh, my enhance is going to be... 
to give it minus one speed with surviving the final. Okay. Can I? So I could get rid of your survive, but it'd be too late, right? It would not give it well, the minus one speed. Yeah, you would do it. Basically, I, I would have used this uh, the, for this effect, and it won't get the minus one speed. Yeah, you can't yeah. as long as you have a, a an action card in your discard pile to activate that in uh, that response. Mm -hmm -hmm. Which I don't. So <laughs> no worries. All right, I will use its enhanced to give it plus two speed. So it is a seven speed mid for five. Uh, I am going to. I am going to do one more surviving the final. All right, it is down to six. And it's your enhance. Yep. Um, I will pass. All right, I'm gonna block on a seven. It checks a three, four, five, six, and seven, uh, and then breaker one on block. Okay. Blocked, I will play a high engine kick. It's a four plus one plus breaker is a six. Checks a five. For one, I will uh, then do the enhance on that one. I will discard an erase and give it plus two speed. So it is a six high for four damage, and I draw a card. Um. I'm going to pass. Uh, I will discard an erase to put it back in my hand and give it plus two speed. So it's an eight high for four damage. I am going to. I am going to think about my life decisions here. I'm going to uh, pass. I don't have the one damage. <laughs> <laughs> I will also pass. So it's an eight high for non-kill damage. All right. I will take it down to one and then I'll respond with the super regeneration to gain three and go back to four. Well, as I like to do, I will follow up with the same move. <laughs> so it is a four, five, six. Uh, so I need to check. I check a three. It's starting to get ugly, but I got him. So that checks. I will do its enhance, and I will discard Hardened Frenzy, the card I never want to play, apparently, <laughs> uh, and give it plus four speed because it's an attack and draw a card. I will pass. I will discard my erase, bring it back to give it plus two. So it's a 10 speed. I'm going to use Spooky. I'm going to swap its speed and damage. So it's going to become a four speed, 10 damage attack. Okay. Uh, is that where I can do this? As long as you have a um, uh, an action. I, I believe do. you do. So I'm going to remove my erase and remove my night watch, and I'm going to cancel your spooky. All right. Sad. I am going to... Uh, it's your enhance, though. That was just a response, so it's still your enhance. I will give it plus two speed just to lay on thicker. <laughs> 12 speed, huh? I will give it minus... Three speed with my graceful maneuvers. Okay, so it is a nine speed. I will pass. I will give it minus one speed with my last copy of surviving the final. Eight speed. Pass. Eight, nine, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So I guess I just can't afford to check a three here. Uh, eight, nine, ten, eleven. Checks a five. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Uh, I guess if you have stun, I will commit this for 11 for the full block to not die. Okay. I have two in hand. Got it. Wow. What do I do? Couldn't get you. That's three, huh? <laughs> Got one through non kill damage. All right. This is so close. I'm going to go for it, and we'll see if I regret my life choices. So I can't check a three. Four, five, six, seven. Checks a five. Six, seven is the hardened jab. 
Um, and I will do its enhance to add a face down into my hand and build one from my deck. I am going to pass enhance. I will discard a race to give it plus two speed. So it's a five mid for five. And I think that's going to kill me because I can't block it anymore, but I'll pass. We'll, we'll give it a shot. <laughs> I will pass. All right. Let's block this impossible attack on an eight. Uh, five, six. I can't pay for it. I will take my five and I will die. <laughs> wow. <laughs> that was a lot of fun, man. I had to string a lot of attacks there. <laughs> yeah, I, 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 uh, that was a lot of fun. I had a lot of fun. That playing. was totally fun. I appreciate it. Yeah, let me move my camera back up. I had never fought Snipe time. before either. We're getting there, we're getting there. I know how to use my camera, guys, I promise. <laughs> All right. I definitely yeah. feared that I was just going to get sniped to death. Just take two, take one, take two, take one. And But it was just, just held out long enough. Yeah, that was actually a really timely erase you did that like at the right time. Um, it, if I get an attack off the top there, you like for sure die. So it was a really well played, uh, really well played game. Thank you. Yeah, I mean, like I said, it's just you know games don't don't intimidate me. Yeah. Um, but anytime you're new to something, it's just trying to figure out. I mean, it took a while to figure out that you can partially do things, which mm -hmm. is in a lot of other card games. But things like Kirishima Two, where you can have no cards in hand but trigger his ability. Um, yeah. Or Mineta One, uh, not Mineta. Um, Midoriya one's punch where you can discard no cards or whatever it is to draw cards yeah. with his uh, secret rare. That stuff just takes a while to learn, you know, the timing of all the things. So one of, one of my toughest uh, things to learn was that sometimes you can just do stuff, even if it won't do anything on the board, like you can just flip like, so for example, um, in Asui uh, from set one in her kit, she has cards that care about your face down. She has frog lashing, right? Yeah. You can flip things that say like, Hey, um, your rival's attack gets minus one damage. Right. Even though your rival's not playing an attack, it doesn't matter. You can just start flipping things to, to do whatever you want just so that you can power up your frog lashings or whatever it is that you're trying to do. So yeah, there's a lot of nuance to the game. I really like the depth. Like every, every card you play can have a thousand ways for that card to resolve. Yeah, my friend has an Endeavor deck and he just, mm -hmm. anything then that can discard, you know, discard cards to do nothing. <laughs> Yeah, <laughs> he just wants to discard to get as many cards in the discard pile. It started at a hundred card deck. I think he finally got it down to like eighty. That's crazy. Um, you know, it was pretty good. But as we all learned more and more, we we learned how to just you know not worry about damage as much as speed and kind of danced around it. But it was just cool that he was just trying to get you know as many packets of six. I think it is with Endeavor. <laughs> mm. in his yeah, the pile. um, it's every six. Yeah, this snipe deck has been like a pet deck of mine. I really like. Um, I didn't get to play any in that match, but. Uh, excited for blood yeah. is one of my favorite cards i have a the the regional license exam alternate arts forum and uh i wanted to play it in a deck that wasn't toga or wasn't the life symbol because the life symbol at ah, least for the competitive aspect card, of the yeah. game yeah that's their card basically um and snipe has so many ways to make my rival lose health that uh i'm oh, able to right, like really right. you can yeah trigger it off of blocked can, attacks blocked attacks if i get lucky and i you know i rush and roulette a card off the top of your deck uh, it, it does some really cool things. It's been a pet deck of mine. The only issue I've run into with this character is if you play him on death and you want to care about ranged attacks, your attacks don't do a lot of damage. You just sling a lot of really honest four damage attacks. Like, here's a four damage attack. Do you want to... Oh, you're blocking it. I guess you'll take one. So dealing with characters who manipulate speed really well, like a racer head or have 34 health, like fourth kind, is a nightmare. <laughs> For sure, yeah. So, yeah. Yeah, no, it was interesting. I was at seven. And then I was like, well, I won't shut you down because I ha you haven't been flipping. Then you flipped an attack. So I lost two. I was at five. And then I was like, okay, now so I block something. And then I realized I have to erase you the next time. Yeah. Because um, you have um, almost exclusively high attacks. Yeah, the deck plays. Mo so, so I'm playing a death ranged package. And for death ranged attacks, the ones that I like playing, they're almost all high attacks. Yeah. You do have... Um, where is it at? I am playing the one that I blocked with against you. The naval laser beam is a mid attack. Uh, but yeah, it's mostly high attacks. Yeah, the tapes. So I got a tape out early. That saved me. Then I played a second one right before that turn where I needed to be able to change. And then I picked the tape back up at the end to try, you know, to try to have another one to play. That card is huge for a racer head, I feel like. 
yeah, yeah change everything to mids yeah so it, yeah it's a really fun um it was a really fun match i had you down to one and then i, I think i i gained like 12 health through super regeneration so i technically had like 32 health that game so yeah, <laughs> i think that was a really fun showcase match right especially if you want to like show off the game to people and be like hey there are so many different ways you can do things. Here's this death character who just refuses to die because he gains all his health back or he blocks every attack. And then Eraserhead's ability to shut me down there, just kind of showcasing like how cool all the decks are. I think it was a really fun match. Yeah, I mean, to me, that's still the best part of the game. There's so many heroes. And I realized yeah. that there's a portion of them, just because there's so many, <laughs> there's yeah. a portion of them that aren't as, you know, quote unquote, playable as others, but you can really just start anywhere, build around, and then you realize, oh, if I swap this hero in and a couple cards, this deck gets a lot better. And you kind of learn, and it's, I don't know, it's almost like Legos to me. It's like you're building more and more and seeing more as you go. Yeah, for sure. I will say, um, as someone who keeps up like with the competitive part of the game, there are only maybe three characters that I would just tell people not to play. And the other 40 something characters I think are perfectly fine to play. There are three characters though right now that I think are, are lacking a little bit. I don't think you'll have a good time playing them, even if your goal is just to have fun because they're just not cohesive in there in what they do. Um, but so we did a stream um, two weeks ago mm -hmm. and I lost to Denki which I think he's a good character because I yeah. totally forgot what his ability was. Yeah. And I'm like, why are you building out all those cards? And then I like block some basic attack to have no cards left in my hand. He sweeped and crushed me. And then I no. lost to, um, you know, all might, whatever the mini all might is. Oh, true form. All might the one where he's like weekend or whatever. Hiroshima too. Yeah. <laughs> which means I played bad. <laughs> I don't, I don't know if that, that that can get you, right? It plays a lot of six checks and it does a lot of damage boosting. It was a and, lot uh, of six checks, yeah. But it yeah. was it was frustr that was a frustrating day. But then, you know, when we played the other day, I did great and checked everything. So For sure. Well, all right. Thanks so much, Andrew. Thank you. I had a lot of fun, man. I appreciate you having me on. I'll, I'll let, yeah. do this again in the future at some point, for sure. No problem. All right. So for more, check out Andrew's channel, Go Beyond Gaming. For more My Hero Academia, stay tuned for our channel and lots of other games. You'll see board game playthroughs on here with my wife, Kathy, and I. You'll see games from our store. You'll see lots of Marvel champions and other games. And Andrew, I'm excited to meet you at Gen Con. That'll be a blast. Yeah, I can't wait. I can't wait. It'll be a lot awesome. of fun. Thanks, everybody. Until next time, I'm the Brant, and I hope you step into the portal. Bye. Have a great day.